Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> oh my god, three in the morning. I've dragged anchor. The wild southwest. Jesus. Well guys, welcome back to another episode. Yeah. <laughs> There's another Smokey. There is another Smokey on site. Now, welcome back to another episode. Now, I'm not, not gonna bore you with the details of where we are. Keen eyes will know where we are, but look, I'm just gonna quickly say to you, there is two reasons why I was so keen for this trip, and I'll run them by you as the trip goes on. Um, but keep an eye out for that because I think you boaties will find it interesting or guys who want to camp on their boat And I'll also introduce you to the guys that are coming along um, Aaron our mechanic he's coming along so I'll introduce you to all the guys really good crew small crew um, And we're gonna cruise up the river. Let's see what we get up to a few interesting things that I wanted to show you Sit down grab a beer Now guys, I thought I'd get the first person out the way um, and as the trip uh, progresses, I want to show you the other guys and their setups as well, but you'll see this familiar face. Adam! Hey! My man, Adam. Oh, yeah. Okay, obviously Cam, if you're watching, we know who his favourite is. Jesus Christ, dude, you couldn't get that right, could you? <laughs> no. Oh, is it the wrong trip? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, you mate. thought Cam was coming. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> But... Guys, check him out on Instagram as well, Westway Escape. So, look at this boat. She is packed, mate. Now, give us a quick run by, because some people have not watched previous episodes. So, mm -hmm. give us a look. Tell us what the boat is and tell us what you've got inside. Just give us a quick run through. Uh, basically, it's, it's my little trout basher. Yep. Um, little brim basher off the rivers and stuff. As you can see, it's not very deep. Um, Perfect, bit, though. Yeah, a bit it's, of flat roof yeah. topper. Um, but she's chockers. I've got up timber that people would use maybe for a week. Yeah, because she gets cold down here, doesn't yeah. she? So I've got timber and she's chockers, but. Yeah, so t let us know what's in all these bags, <coughs> man. I always uh, find it interesting. Okay, one I've got my pillow. Yep. One I've got clothes. Yep. And then one I've got just odd bits and pieces. Yeah, just, basically yeah. same as me, yeah. One, yeah. one for pillows, that, yep. that's important. Pillow, Sleep. clothes, and then just bits and bobs. Yep. So, and yeah, you got people. all your esky in that setup. Yeah, last time we were here, all my stuff got wet on the first night. So, so you learned a lesson, didn't yeah, we? That's it. <laughs> that was wild though. Yeah. Oh fun. god. Guys, if you ever get time, go back to the last tinny trip I did with Adam. Um it got absolutely wild with the weather. Our gazebo got blown hundred meters down shore. Check that out. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you when we're down the river a bit more. Got heaps to show you and heaps of boys to introduce you guys to. Well guys, as um, as you'll see from that footage there, um, I've never seen the river that low. So this section of the river over here, we've always sort of cruised through, props down, no worries, no shallow drive needed whatsoever. But bloody Adam, Adam's gone along and it's gone from like three metres down to 300 mil. And he's the heaviest boat here, believe it or not. Have a look at it. Look at the freeboard on it. 
How'd you go? <laughs> Wait, oh my god. Have you ever seen it that low? Guys, actually while I'm here, while we um, wait for Adam to speak, this is Dean. Dean, hey guys, mate, say So Dean, you and, you and these lads here run a channel? Yeah, me and the boys, we just share what we get up yep. to, our trips and that sort of thing on, on YouTube, Venture yep. Driven. Venture Driven? Yeah, see so if you want to have a squeeze, check it out. Yep, have it's, a look, uh, guys. Nothing special like Pete, but uh, we shared all our stupid what are you adventures. <laughs> nothing special here either. <laughs> what happened there? I was doing about 12 knots, and I went from about 12 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it this low, eh? Mate, oh, I, I can see the bottom. Yeah, can you really? <laughs> yeah, point right, four yeah. here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I got that. It's gonna set me swag up here. Yeah, probably could actually. <laughs> no, we'll have a chat to Adam when he gets here because um, it'll be interesting to know. I've still that got that. Here, across, Jeez, that's not even reading now. Do I get us back a bit? That's <laughs> what happened there. <laughs> I was feeling a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just hit. Hey, we've never seen it like this. That's what I was saying. What do you think that's due to? I reckon the banks might have broken, dude. The banks are done, yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to check it out. Just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh well, let's see if those banks have broken, guys. And if we get time, I'll throw the drone up. So let's see how we go. Um, we'll be keeping an eye on the sounders. I've never had to through this section. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beauty. I like your um, Burke wheels cover, how it's a dry bag. Well, it's my first swag bag I bought. That's good. I just stopped using it because I didn't need it anymore. And then after this trip, I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got this big one for fucking BCF. Darchy. How many yeah. hundred dollars? Yeah, I was going to say for that FIFO money. Well, guys, here we are. Hey, <laughs> I might be on FIFO money, but I don't have a 79. <laughs> here we are, guys. Um, I can't believe how much the water level has changed. So the plan is we're just going to offload uh, a heap of our gear here to lighten up the um, tinnies a bit. I'm very interested to see whether those um, banks have broken just because this water level is like 1.2 to 1.5 metres lower than what it was. So anyway, can't let these guys do all the work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the teeth one, I see the Esky. Well, very surprising. It has not broken its banks. But I want to see how far we can sort of get here. It's still. 1.3 meters. Well, it's dropping now, but I just can't believe how much this has dropped, guys. See, the winds actually feels like less here. Obviously, that sandbar is dropping it. Still a meter here. So, what I want to do, I want to pop over here, and I just want to take a walk over because I think the boys uh, tomorrow night want to have a bit of a fish. So, uh, maybe while they're fishing. <coughs> um, I'll try and get a camp, um, a feed going for them. But I don't want to tell you what we're doing for dinner yet. You'll have to stick around. Because old mate here, he's a chef. So let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to throw the drone up now. And I really want to show you guys this beautiful ground. Look at this. We're going to get right there, mate. So here we go. Well, Just hit ground there. There's the ground. That'll do. Let's have a look around, eh? We need a bait for mate. Nah. Went through the wrong hole, look. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. Ah! Back her out, mate. Back her out. Oh. Jesus Christ. They got dog waste on the bottom. Yeah. If it stays here, we're right. 
gerade so nach Holz. Scheiße, die Berge. I've said it many a times when I've camped here. I think each each bloke's getting a bit bored with me saying that right here, all through here, and up through there. The first time I ever camped here, this was like a nine metre high dune. It's insane. Beautiful thing about having the boat. So we've all bought beers here for a bloody little sunset drink. That wind is not as bad as you think. That's fine. And you must keep in mind that you can only get here via boat. It's awesome. Anyway, have a look from the sky um, and we're going to scope out this joint and see what uh, some of these fish o's can do tomorrow night, I guess. I don't know what we're getting up to tonight, but you'll have to stick around, guys. Absolutely awesome. Been missing getting these boats out. Look at that view. Jesus. Say it how you feeling right now. Say it how you say it. Show me how I look in your heart. Better it look amazing. Better look amazing, better look amazing right now. Say it how you feeling right now. Say it how you say it. Say it how you feeling right now. Say it how you say it. Show me how I look in your heart. Better look amazing. Better look amazing. Better look amazing right now. Say it how you feeling right now. Say it how you say it. Giddy up, son. Giddy up, son. <laughs> oh, they're still warm. Are they? Are they? Is it nice? Someone's been here, mm -mm. like yesterday. Someone was here Wednesday. Yeah, I'll play on the boats that they're... Heaps of briquettes here that aren't even burnt. Oh, beautiful. So they're going straight back in. Line? No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dean. Good day. Squirt. Well, guys, um, I wanted to show you exactly what was happening tonight. Now, I uh, let on a little bit earlier that Dino here was a, a chef. So, tell us a little bit about your past, can you? Or yeah, well, I sort he of... worked for the Mafia. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nah, I sort of started off restaurants, hotels, that sort of thing. Yep. Um, and like most chefs, chase the money, and I ended up working remote mining, mine sites, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And that's still where I am today. Yeah, beautiful. No, so. that's good. That's a perfect roundup. But guys, I wanted to show you what he's doing for dinner. So can you tell us exactly what you've done and what type yeah. of meat it is and stuff like that? Very interesting. And as you guys know, I love campfire cooking. He's taking it to another level. Let's go. So essentially, I have taken a scotch fillet and sous vide it. Sous vide is essentially cooking your meat at a particular temperature in a water bath for a particular length of time. So for this steak, medium rare, 54 degrees, I did it for two hours. Beautiful. Um, sous vide is particularly suited to a thick cut of meat. So yeah, these, yeah. these steaks are obviously quite thin, so they're not going to still have the redness of a medium rare. I remember you telling me that you used to get the whole yeah, side. Yeah, so right? originally yep. I couldn't get the full, the full fillet. I would have, yep. I would have grabbed a full fillet, cooked the whole thing, cut it into steaks, and it's all perfect. Mate, would have been yep. absolutely perfect. And so, that's one thing I was speaking to you. Sorry to interrupt you, but before, um, I've always wanted to know with sous vide, do you season before the sous vide? Yep. Or you, you were telling me you do both. So I season before and after. Great. Right. So obviously awesome. seasoned it before it's gone into the little cryo bag. Yep. I, in this case, I've used a Ziploc. Yep. Perfect. Ready and they've roll. been sitting out, haven't they, on the esky? Yeah. So I've, I've I cooked these yesterday, put them out, sit them on the esky. It's still bloody cold here, so they're, they're yeah, still they're yeah. still quite cold. But 
you know, like if you want to feel that. That's, no, it, it is. That's, that's soft. That's beautiful. Yeah, you know? no, that's fine. So the idea behind a sous vide is you've cooked it at the perfect temperature for a period of time. It's broken down all that that muscle fiber, the mm -hmm. sinew, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yep. So you've got a perfectly cooked steak every time. I can't wait to try this because I've eaten yeah. it today properly. Well, I've had some Pringles. That's about it. <laughs> well, but... Same with you. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna put these in a couple of steak no. singers. Couple of nice Turkish rolls. Yeah, beautiful. Your idea is get that plan as hot as we can. Yep. Sear her off and straighten the Turkish buns and away we go. Bit of onion jam, bit of cheese, bit of rocket. You don't <laughs> okay, need much you else. You skipped over that onion <laughs> jam. What's the deal there? I cheated. Did you? I went and bought my own brand. Your own brand? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what do you mean your own brand? Oh, yeah. Beer and Berg. <laughs> no, Beer and Berg. Yeah. <laughs> So his yeah. name is Dean Beerenberg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no in all, all honesty, this is my favourite onion jam. So, Dino, we talked that about the Beerenberg. You understated it. I wanted to know the layers. What layers are you doing? So, over here. Everyone has their the way of, I don't know, layering a steak sandwich, a burger, etc. Yeah. My way of thinking is you put the lettuce or the rocket in our case on top yeah your burger's gonna be up here you gotta squash it down my way I of thinking I hate a big burger I really do I need a biteable one so we're gonna put the hickory smoked barbecue on the bottom yes yep so Turkish bread stone yep. cooked Turkish bread boom the hickory smoked barbecue sauce on yep. the bottom in nice layer because you gotta get a bit of sauce in there yep uh, we'll throw the rocket on top once the rocket's on top we'll throw the steak on top yep because it just it will slowly wilt the rocket Ooh. calm it down it'll warm it too why do you want a cold salad on your warm steak sandwich 100 percent. you know no just salad full you, stop. you get people that put cold beetroot on your warm burger mm -hmm. are, you, are you kidding me mm -hmm. um and then we'll throw the cheese on top of that so it melts obviously yep um and what then cheese we, what cheese vintage, you're understating it vintage cheddar yeah. mate vintage, vintage cheddar. like i'm a strong believer in strong bold taste yeah but simplicity as well yeah i love it so this is a very simple burger, yep. steak singer, nice bold cheddar, um, and then we've got some garlic uh, Dijon mayo. I was going to ask you that, I was going to say sauce. Yeah, sauce garlic Dijon mayo. Yep. I'm a big oh, mustard fan. Dude. Man, mustard is understated. Yeah. You've always got to have that bit of tang in there. Oh, do you know what, guys? You know you've made it when a chef's cooking for you. <laughs> See you in the B-roll. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I've had two cups of That's what you want a nice crust. Perfectly cooked steak, nice crust. You're feeling pretty confident now, aren't you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make another five. Yeah. Well done, boys. Well done, Dina. Everyone's Thank you, confident, mate. mate. Few beers in. Let's go. It's a good thing. So All there's right. two ready right now. Yeah, didn't you? Beautiful. Oh, well, it looks good. <laughs> so tell, tell me what you taste, man. Oh. Can't add Is it crispy? Boys? Like the steak nice and crispy? Mate, I taste all the good things right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's anyone's. <laughs> How soft is that? Sim yeah, oh. beautiful. That's beautiful. Like you don't have to chew your steak. Absolutely beautiful. No, that's soft. Falls apart in your mouth. Oh, beautiful boy. That's when you know when, it, when you're not dragging the whole steak out of the sandwich. Oh, that rocket's a bit tough though, isn't it? What? <laughs> You happy, mate? Wow, oh, these boys seem, they're pretty quiet. Yeah. Well, I guess it tastes <laughs> That's good, That's about eh? it. That's about it. Oh, God. It's horrible. <laughs> horrible. Guys, I don't know if you can see me well enough or not. I'm going to be real selfish. Sign out here because there's a bloody Samo waiting for me. So, see you in the morning, guys. I mean, it's horrible. Pete, you don't want one. <laughs> you don't want one. I'm going to have one. Damn you know you. what? I'll have yours. <laughs> I'll save you the save you the heartache and I'll have yours. <laughs> oh, thank you, Light Man. 
good. <laughs> there you go. You got it. <laughs> Three in the morning. <laughs> oh my god. Three in the morning. I've oh, dragged anchor. So I've actually moved over to this spot. I'll explain to you guys in the morning. I've actually um, pulled up to the shore again. Jesus. The wild southwest. Jesus.